guys, Judy here. It is, <clears throat> excuse me, Tuesday, February 6th, and I hope everyone's doing great. Um, I just have some encouragement for you. God gave me a major encouragement and flirt. Um, out of nowhere yesterday, my son, um, he plays his, he, he plays his worship music for the band he's in at the church, and, um, at his youth group that he goes to, and um, and every now and then, well, most of the time, I like to sing with them because I love to sing and I love the music and and it's fun. Well, it's like all the other times, you know, no biggie. It's just fun. Just it's it's. I don't mean no biggie. I mean it's beautiful to sing to the Lord, but it's you know nothing huge. But oh, yesterday, the Spirit of God just came over me so strong I mean out of nowhere and I love it because there's a movie in, in wrestling called out of nowhere <laughs> my son watches it and it's just reminding me he just it was out of nowhere right up on me and uh, and the Lord just started to download to me like I am the God of the impossible do you believe that? And he was just giving me so much hope about all the people that we're praying for that were, you know, many of us believe that a lot of them are going to be left behind, okay? Because we're seeing the spiritual condition they're in. And that's okay because we've already prayed for them when they do get left behind, right? So there's some that I've just put in that category just because I see that they're choosing that. And they're not taking any advice from me or God or anyone. So it's like, okay, I'm just assuming you're going to be left behind. But the Lord just totally downloaded like, I am the God of the impossible. He wanted me to rise up and start praying powerful prayers, not just settling. Because see, I'm, I'm sort of agreeing with the enemy if I just kind of give up, you know, and just think, okay, well, they're going to they're gonna make their decision after the rapture. My intellectual mind is seeing that, okay? And that's okay. That's a fair assessment. That's the truth. There's nothing wrong with that. But, and God just interrupted me and he wanted me to believe differently. He wanted me to believe that to, for the God of the impossible to do beyond what I can ask, think, or imagine. So it just hit me so strong. And then I told my son, can you play that one song again? And he did. And the same, it was just, mm. And then, um, that was yesterday and then it happened again today. Um, it was still there and I could just feel that God is like the God of the impossible. And of course I know that I've seen many miracles. I see him do stuff for me daily. I mean, he is amazing, <clears throat> but he's challenging and stretching me and it, it was, be it's beautiful. So I just want to encourage you that right up until we leave, you know, um, believe that the God of the impossible can do beyond what you can ask, think, or imagine. And it says that in the word. And I've always read that, but I just assume, but you know what? Don't assume anything. Our God interrupted me. He wants people at his marriage supper, at the marriage supper of the lamb. He just needs to do a few tweaks here and there. Certain people might not be as far off as we think. God sees the heart. Maybe they just need a little tweaking here and there. When we look at them, we're like, oh no, big mess, going to be a while. But God God can do some little tweaking here and there. He He knows how to do it. So, you know, um, I just want to encourage you. God's at, in, reminding me to not put things in boxes and, and say, okay, this is how. He's like, no, I'm the God of the impossible. And he just really encouraged me and challenged me to pray warrior prayers not pathetic little sad prayers, but warrior prayers, you know, like just, and to believe them and to agree with him that he'll have more brides at his marriage supper. Okay. He wants it full. So let's give our gift, our groom, that gift of more brides. Let's go fetch the brides for him by our powerful, strong prayers. And you know what? I challenge you this week to, to pray for some of those that you think are impossible and challenge your groom the God of the impossible, because he really wanted me to do that. And he just rose up, he just rose up in me with hope, 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 hope. Am I not the God of the impossible? I mean, I just can't even tell you what he said. 
but it was just, he just went on and on during this one song my son was playing and just, and he was giving me hope and he was showing me what he can do. And that's how I can describe it because I can't even put words to it. It was so, mm, it was spirit to spirit, but it was so deep and so rich and it just satisfied my soul. And I knew he wanted me to share it and I was going to do the video last night when it actually happened because I was all fired up and I'm still fired up, but I fell asleep because you guys know I get up at five and walk my dog and then I go, I, I do my exercising <clears throat> at class and then I go straight from there to work. And then I get home and then I homeschool my son who's been doing his work all day, but then I have to check it also. My week nights are crazy. My schedule is crazy and I'm thankful for it because it's making the time go fast because waiting for the Lord is, is, is one of the most blessed and one of the most difficult things that I've ever done. It's just edge of your seat, but it's like tor tickle torture is how I describe it, okay? Because we're somewhere else. And uh, many of us are somewhere else, okay? We're... God has shown us the next life. He's shown us that this reality is almost over. <clears throat> and we spend time with him. And he gives us all kinds of hope and joy for the next life and what we're going to be doing. And I spend my time thinking about that and enjoying that. Not not anything here. So it's really hard. I'm so detached. but um, So that's why it's tickled torture being here. But yet, while I'm here, I have God's joy. I have his peace. And I have I'm, I'm happy because he's with me. And this is where he has me. So... I don't want to, you know, yeah, there's that longing to go, but I'm enjoying the beauty that he gives us while we're here. And you guys, even though there's a lot of evil stuff going on and God's allowing it, there's beauty in him. So try to, try not to let all the evil get you down. Try to, you know, I'm just, I, I uh, went, just enjoy the beauty in God and the beauty in others that love him and even others that don't love him. Enjoy people. Enjoy the beautiful masterpieces that God is working on. You know, we don't even know the beauty that God sees because we just see what we see. But God was really challenging me. I know everything. I was there. I was there when they were such, you know, such and such age. You have no idea. Some people, God just has to tweak a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right, and they're good. But we think it's so much worse, you know. But isn't he beautiful? He's so powerful. Our father is wonderful. So, um, you guys, I know some of you already have your people slated for after the rapture. You're like, yeah, I've already prayed for them. They're not, there's no way they're going, but open up your mind and think maybe they could go. There's another day. I'm here right now. Let me, let me pray some warrior prayers. Let me agree with heaven that God would like to fetch more brides for his marriage supper. Hmm. <clears throat> And let me let me see what the, my God what my prayers can do. Okay, so um, anyway, God bless everybody. I love you so much. I can't wait to meet you face to face. Many of you I have met face to face. Some some people we send pictures because you know they want to know. You know, you, we like to see what each other looks like, and I'm happy to do that. I just for I, God's asked me to stay hidden on YouTube, but once I you know get to know you and stuff, I'm happy to do that and. I love you guys, um, and um, yeah. So if you're if you're very homesick, um, start asking the Lord what is your job in the next life. It, it's any moment, so it's good to start investing in that with Him as well. Okay, and then and, and you'll get excited. It'll make you a little more homesick. So don't do it if you're already bad. Okay, because. I'm so glad he's told me the things he's told me, but in some ways it makes it more difficult. But again, I probably wouldn't have it any other way, but it just makes that groaning even more, you know, more intense. And um, to finally be satisfied with with everything he's shown us is going to be so great. Okay, but while we're here, we find satisfaction and peace and joy in where he has us, okay? And um, this isn't for wimps. This walk in the last hour it is not for wimps. And so understand that you're a warrior and, and, and God is proud of you. Don't beat yourself up. It's not easy. This is my fifth year believing he's going to come every day on the edge of my seat. And, um, it is not for wimps and it's, but it's, it's such an honor. It's such a calling and it's beautiful. So I, I wouldn't have it any other way. Um, but at the same time to not acknowledge that it's not um, difficult. It's just lying to yourself and it's therapeutic to kind of get it out. You know, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good.
good. And, you know, the only way that I became happy in my walk with God was when I started being honest with him because he knew everything I was thinking anyway. Just be honest with him. In your relationship with God, be honest. Talk to him about it all. He's your friend. He loves you. He knows it all anyway. All right, I love you guys. Bye.